Yep, this is a men's sweater, Christmas sweater, and I'm lighting up like a Christmas tree. Welcome to Rockville announced their lineup. It's happening the weekend of May 18th through the 21st down in Daytona Beach, Florida. The headliners, Tool, Slipknot, Avenged Sevenfold, and Pantera. Yeah, they get Pantera, and we won't get them for Sonic Temple because they'll be in Europe that weekend, but they're headlining Incarceration. That's happening the weekend of July 14th through the 16th up at the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield. There isn't a full lineup for that one yet, but Danny Wimmer says it's coming soon. Tickets are on sale at incarceration.com and it's going fast. A lot of musicians have been taking a stand against concert venues lately for taking a cut of fans' merch sales. And Bad Omens are the latest to say something about it. One of their fans posted a photo of a specialty cocktail menu at the venue where they were playing, and all the drinks were named after some of their songs. And they were 18 bucks with alcohol, eight bucks without. Well, Bad Omens responded to the photo saying, Hey, that's dope, but artists still don't get a cut from bar sales though, even if the venue gives cocktails cute little names after your songs, but still take 15 to 20% of merch sales every night. They pay for it all. They design the merch, they manage it, they set it up, everything. Basically the point is they don't wanna cut bar sales, they just don't wanna fork up 20% of the merch they work really hard to make. I'm Tess and that was your Blitz Rock Rundown, powered by Lion's Den, the official store of pleasure, passion, and romance. Merry Blitzmas! This has been a presentation of Blitz TV. For more rock news, check out the Blitz website at theblitz.com.